Mr. President, Council, Commissioner, thank you. May I firstly welcome the reforms contained within colleague Tyne's report. I believe they represent a good first step towards improving the functioning of the court. The introduction of the Lisbon Treaty and enlargement have all contributed to the increasing backlog that we hear so much about, particularly in the general court. Also, the economic difficulties is adding to the workload. We find a 11% increase in commercial and business-related disputes in 2011 alone, tax disputes increased by 37%, intellectual property cases by some 18%. Colleagues, it's essential that the ultimate arbiter of European law works effectively, efficiently, in order to provide our citizens and businesses with the utmost legal certainty when transacting across borders. We must bear in mind that although procedural reforms are able to alleviate some of the delays, it is difficult to deny that structural reforms are, necess are not necessary in order to properly resolve the burden of cases still outstanding before the court. And very finally, uh, Mr. President, there has been some rumours circulating that the United Kingdom uh, is in fact blocking uh, this matter going to a vote. That isn't the case. We are working at a very speedy basis, moving domestic legislation to allow this to process through our House of Parliament so that we can move this here in time for the appointment of the new judges in October this year. Thank you. Thank you very much.